हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल इन द लास्ट प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द ट्रांसप्रेशन इन दैट वी स्टडीड द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ट्रांसप्रेशन डेफिनेशन ऑफ ट्रांसप्रेशन व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द ट्रांसप्रेशन एंड यूहेपरेशन देन वी ऑल्सो स्टडी द टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांसप्रेशन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्टोमाटा the mechanism of opening and closing of stomata by two theories first one is a stewart's hypothesis and second one is a k pump theory and today we are going to discuss on the significance of transpiration this is the last topic of this chapter that is the significance of transpiration the significance of transpiration is one of the debatable subject in the plant physiology it is one of the debatable subject in the plant physiology because there are some physiologists who consider that the transpiration is significant transpiration plays a significant role but there is a other group who consider that transpiration is harmful one group consider that transpiration is important transpiration is beneficial but other group consider that the transpiration is harmful because the millions of plants are die each and every year that is because of the excess rate of transpiration because of excess rate of transpiration the millions of plants are that each and every year and hence there is a other group who consider that plant transpiration is harmful to the plants but rather than there is a another group who consider that the transpiration is beneficial as well as harmful to the plants the transpiration is beneficial or and harmful to the plants and hence the transpiration is called as a necessary evil what i said the transpiration is called as a necessary evil because in the physiology there is another group of physiologists they consider that the transpiration is beneficial as well as harmful to the plants hence the transpiration is called as a necessary evil because of the following reasons the first significance of transpiration is transpiration removes excess water from the plants transpiration removes excess water because we know the plants require very small quantity of water and remaining water is lost with the help of transpiration and hence transpiration plays important role to remove excess water from the plants this is the first significance second significance is that it helps in water absorption by which plants gets mineral and salts from soil during the transpiration the water is absorbed the rate of transpiration and rate of absorption is equal the rate of transpiration and the rate of water sin water absorption is equal and we know very well whatever the transpiration is takes place the roots absorb the water and with the help of absorption of water the there is a absorption of mineral and salts is also takes place and these mineral and salts are utilized by the plants for their growth and development and hence this is the second significance that transpiration helps in the absorption of mineral and salts from the soil the third significance is that it keeps the plants cool means it maintain the temperature of the plants this is the third significance due to transpiration or the transpiration plays an important role to maintain the temperature of the plant body the next significance is that it improves the quality of fruit the transpiration plays 
one of the important role to improve the quality of fruits and fifth one is that during metabolic activities water is utilized we know very well that for the all the metabolic activities for photosynthesis respiration scent of sap diffusion osmosis imbibition water is essential without water the metabolic activities does not take place means for all the metabolic activities water is essential and the plants gets this water that is because of the transpiration because with the help of transpiration whatever the transpiration is takes place the water absorption is also takes place and this water is utilized for the metabolic activities of the plants and the last significance is that the main force in ascent of sap is brought about by transpiration pool now the movement of water is takes place from root to the aerial part of the plant this movement of water is called as a ascent of xylem sap and the ascent of xylem sap is takes place that is because the trans due to transpiration because due to transpiration there is a tension is created and because of that transpiration tension the there is a force is created and with the help of this force the ascent of sap is takes place and this is all about the significance of transpiration though the millions of plants are die each and every year due to excess rate of transpiration but the transpiration also plays a significant role and hence the transpiration is called as a necessary evil okay got it and tomorrow we will start the new chapter that is ascent of xylem sap okay